Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's off to a great productive day. Uh, I know it's been a while since I did a video. Uh, been having some, shall I say, strange weather. I've uh, been having nice sunny days. We've been having uh, pouring down thunderstorms with a lot of rain and wind. And we've been having some freezing temperatures. Yes, freezing temperatures again. So I'm going to show y'all what I got going on in the garden. All right, for those who don't know, I am in North Carolina in Grow Zone 8A. And um, today it is, man, it is nice out. I mean, it is, it's a beautiful day outside. Nice, sunny, feels good. We're going to go ahead and let the chickens out so they can stretch their feet. If I can get this latch off. There we go. Oh, hold on, let me get the water hose out your way. All right, y'all, come on out. So I'm gonna let them out, let them stretch their feet and relax a little bit. But uh, let you know what I've been having going on in the garden. And I'm gonna uh, throw some clips up in the one of the top corners. I don't know which one, but so we've been having thunderstorms, like I said, freezing temperatures and nice sunny days like today. But um, I had something attack my potatoes it actually ripped them up out of the ground, which was right there. Ripped them out of the ground and ate them. So as you can see, I got my uh, trap set over there. I'm gonna throw a little section in the top up there and show you what happened with that. But yeah, it ate that and it actually went in there and ate some of the other potatoes. So that's why I got my catch and release trap. For those who wanna know, I won't harm the animal. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I won't harm the animal. That's the catch and release trap. I catch them and I um, bring them to um, one of my subscribers. So I bring the uh, rodent, the animal to one of y'all. Y'all can have it. But um, so that happened. Then with the freezing temperatures, I'm gonna come all the way over here and show you first. Now I did um, come and replant a whole bunch of stuff after that happened, but I end up having all these plants right here. They all have sprouted all took off and did good and then the freezing temperature came and killed all except probably like two of them um this is one that survived i guess if you call that surviving so i know it's still a chance that those leaves gonna come off anyway so i'm gonna just let that go but um all of them died the two that survived looked like that right there but i end up having my um that's why i always tell you i do a backup i had several plants going so I grabbed my other plants that I had started and went ahead and um, planted them back out. So that was another one that kind of survived and you can see how it looked. But yeah, everything doesn't always go as planned as you want to, as you want it to go in the um, garden. So these were some other ones I already had started. So I was able to bounce back pretty quick because I had several plants. Uh, that's why I say if you want two or three plants, you might want to plant like five or six because you don't know how many of them um, are going to survive. And if uh, everybody's showing you their videos and everything is always great and they don't never talk about issues, don't believe it. Everybody has problems in the garden and a lot of stuff doesn't always um, work out, you know, in your favor. But that's all a part of gardening. So as you can see, my celery is taking off right there. My cilantro. That is my basil coming in. That's dill. And we have parsley coming in here. That's peppermint. Got the lemon balm. Sometime the oregano, sage, and then we have our rosemary. But um, got those coming in. Got this uh, lettuce right here. Let me come on the other side so my shadow will be over here. But got this lettuce looking good that was that volunteer romaine lettuce that i dug up out the ground and planted in it's thriving and doing good zucchini plant here as you see got this dried up leaf here but i'll go ahead and prune that off right there once i get it pruned up this right here is um uh, okra as you can see it done bent over so i'm gonna have to try to work with that to get it to stand up tall good we got a, a tomato plant right there. That here, that there is another squash plant. 
And we have another squash. And, and as I see, uh, see how the leaves burnt up? As I'm saying, that was from them. It's, it's been strange weather. Hot, cold, sunny, storming. Yesterday it stormed bad. I got out here right before it stormed and uh, was able to cut the grass. Uh, as zucchini there is doing good. Asparagus is doing what it does. So we got some cabbage right there. Some cabbage on right there. Still didn't get those planted. Plan on doing that today. See them green onions are doing good. And all my onions are doing good. Kale is starting to uh, come in nicely. Then we have some different plants over here. So, but I mean, as y'all can see, like I said, it was it hurt it hurt a lot of my plants. I end up losing probably like I want to say I think I lost like 20 plants from uh from the weather. So, y'all y'all remember I got the lemon um not the lemon got the citrus tree right here which is a uh, mandarin or mandarin, however you say it, orange tree. And I got it from um, Michigan Bulbs. It was my first time ordering from them. And I'm gonna put a um, link to that video. But um, I was waiting on my pomegranate plant. Y'all was very disappointed. So this is my pomegranate that came in from Michigan Bulb right there. That's it. And it came in dead looking, as you can see. It doesn't look the best. I put a little clip in the top corner showing you how it came in and when it opened it up, I wasn't happy with it. And uh, like I said, it was my first time purchasing from Michigan Bulb. And I'm gonna be honest, me personally, I won't purchase from them again. I would stick with um, going to either the big box store or just going to uh, fastgrowingtrees.com. I think I'll stick with them because their trees have, they're more expensive, but Within a year, like they said, they do produce fruit. So, and since we're talking about the fruit, let's talk about the fruit trees. Fruit trees are doing good. So this fruit tree here is a peach tree. I end up getting this one here from Lowe's right here. And um, as you can see, I do have several peaches growing on there. And I mean, a ton of them. I'm trying to get y'all the best angle here. But as you can see, I got peaches growing all on the tree. And they are doing good. Now, this is that fruit cocktail tree I was just talking about for fastgrowingtrees.com. And it said within a year that it was going to produce fruit. And February was um, my uh, second year mark. And look, look at those plums. I don't know if these are going to be peaches or nectarines. They appear to look like peaches growing on it. But I'm hoping it's uh, nectarines just because I got that peach tree. But as you can see, man, those plums are taking off and doing, doing great. Let me see if I can get you a better angle there. But do have several plums um, that is growing on the trees. This right here is my kiwi. Y'all, the storm was so strong yesterday, it just tossed this plant over. I was able to pick it up, and then I had to come out here and um, put some extra water on them just to hold them down for how strong the wind was blowing yesterday. So kiwi plant right there then uh blackberries doing good got a lot of flowers and stuff that done flowered on the um, blackberry bush i don't know why it's got to be lacking something let me come around here so i can show y'all because i know a lot of these are snap because of the um, wind and the storms but i don't know if it's lacking something with the um blackberry uh, the blackberry bush lacking some nutrients or something so that's that one and then the blueberry bush right here is finally starting to get some uh, green leaves on it. So that's doing its thing. But uh, yeah, y'all, my garden is still not done yet. I plan on, I gotta get those all planted. I still got all those containers over there that I gotta get um, taken care of. So I still got a lot of work I gotta, um, gotta put in. Let's go take a look at the golden delicious dwarf apple tree. Man, I gotta I gotta clean those solar panels off from that storm yesterday. See all that stuff on it? It still produced power, but it'll produce a lot more without it. So let's see. As you can see, last time I think this tree wasn't doing really nothing. And as you can see, it's starting to get all the leaves on it. And um yesterday before a storm, there was a lot of flowers and blooms on it. Y'all look at that. 
that's a good sign. Y'all see that ladybug right there? Hey, Miss Ladybug, I see you. But uh, that's a good sign. They can fight off them um, aphids. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of flowers on here. So maybe we get some uh, golden delicious uh, apples. Ah, talking to apples, looking at y'all. There is some apples forming. So I'm hoping this year that the um, tree would do a lot better than it did um, in previous uh, years. So last year, didn't get nothing from it. So hoping I can get something off of it this year. But yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been having going on, y'all. Um, plan on, like I say, I plan on, I got a lot of things going on. Plan on getting the rest of those green containers over there done and getting this other stuff taken care of. So that's the plan. Hopefully I can go ahead and get that done. Get this garden moving along and uh, catch the um, predator that's going through eating my stuff. And um, if y'all would like that predator to come to y'all, just drop down in the comment section and I'll be sure to overnight them to you <laughs> but um as always thanks for watching if you're new to the channel and you like what you see consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that notification bell so you don't miss none of my future videos and as always we'll catch you on the next one